We're filming. <laughs> Well, hello everybody and welcome uh, to Dave's Pet Show. This is the week after uh, the beginning of our 40th year celebration. We're sort of uh, all recuperated. I had a great time uh, with um, Norman and uh, he rode his scooter, he jump rope. Did you see that, Joe? Did you see the jump rope? Yeah, he jump rope. He did all kinds of stuff. So it was just a fabulous weekend. But the, the deals, which is the important part, are continuing all year long we we got our vendors to every month there'll be certain just crazy deals that are uh, that are going on so uh, the first thing I want to talk about is in the last couple months we have brought in and new foods have come out that are um, incredible foods and and uh, it's not I don't usually get excited about new foods to be very honest with you because they're usually just variations on a theme. Um, but there are a few new foods out that I actually think are a little bit different than other foods. And there's a reason that someone, I hate to say it, but there is a reason that someone may switch from what they're using to, to these foods. And I wanna start out with, this is not a new food, but I want everyone to, to know about this food. It's a canna and um, origin. They are like, cult foods and the reason that they're like cult foods is there is more fresh meat in these foods than just about any other food on the market outside of a can of meat or or a a raw food so we have we sell tons of this i brought a bag of the salmon home they make a five fish i open it up you'd swear you were in a uh, a, a fish cannery yeah i mean it was just stunk to high heaven of fish. I mean, there, so if you have, if you want to feed a raw diet, but you just can't, you can't afford it because a raw diet's expensive, this food, the Acana, they make dog food, they make cat food, is just so digestible, so much meat in it, that it's just, I think, the best thing in the world. So let me just read you the ingredients which is printed in 18 different languages. So I got to find, uh, which one do we speak, Joe? English. Ah, it's on top. So deboned lamb, lamb meal, duck meal, white fish meal. Then you get the whole peas, the red lentils. So if you remember what I told you, the first ingredient is the most and the rest goes by volume. You also remember that I said, if fresh meat is the first ingredient, it's always not the best thing because fresh meat has a lot of moisture in it. Moisture weighs a lot. So it's almost a marketing ploy to put fresh meat first because there's, more, there's up to 300, I'll repeat, 300 times more digestible protein in a meal than there is in fresh, fresh meat when you're in a dog food. But here's the corker. After the first ingredient is deboned lamb, this is why I love these guys, the next ingredient is lamb meal, and then the next meat ingredient is duck meal. The next ingredient is whitefish meal. So I'm, when I tell you that there is a huge portion of this food is meat, it's meat. So what that means is it's very, very digestible, so your dog eats a very, very small amount of food. So if you have issues with, not you, your dog, actually, or your cat, because it's cat food too. So, so this is actually funny. So uh, one of my good buddies is Kathy at Kathy's Place, the fabulous restaurant in uh, uh, West Springfield. So she uses the uh, origin for cats, and she just tells me how, how um, her cat is like a whole new cat after she switched, because there's so few carbs and it's like the only thing that the cat will eat and it just goes on and on and on. So there's two, they make different flavors. There's Origin and Acana. 
And I just, out of all the foods in the store, period, if you want to feed a great food and really see a difference in, in your animal, this is it. So, pardon me? Same company. Yep, they're the same company. So there's a couple of other foods that are, this one is brand new. I just want to, I want to show you this one. We just got this in. It's by nature, and I'll give you a little history of the company. By nature is, um, they're owned by a giant company, but they're, they're independently run. They're owned by a feed company. They're owned by the company that makes Blue Seal feeds. It's a completely separate division. The reason that I love these guys is they make a bunch of my dry foods. So they, they co-pack. So they treat us very, very, very well. And I know them. I know the people who make the formulas. I know the people who run the plants. Um, it's, it's just a first class, honest, fabulous operation. So they wanted to come out with a food that was a little bit different than everybody else. So they came out with this active defense. And, and what they did is they, they um, sort of concentrated on the digestive system. Adding, and they did a ton of research adding all kinds of pro and prebiotics, which is the bacteria that grows in the gut. And, and so the food is loaded with these, with these um, pro and prebiotics. So they call it an active de defense, which makes sense. So it's great for the immune system. And I don't have to tell you that, so this is interesting, by the way. Uh, I take a probiotic every, every night and this is loaded with the probiotics. They did a study on humans. They, I, I don't know, they wouldn't do this on dogs, but people who had colon cancer had no probiotics in their, in their uh, guts, which I thought was very, very interesting. So that sort of scared me into, uh, you know, getting the colonoscopy, but taking a, uh, taking a probiotic, right? So, so let me read you the ingredients on this, because I, I really like this food. You ready? And again, this is why I like the company. The first ingredient is deboned turkey. Okay, so you think, well, there's a lot of other foods that are deboned turkey or deboned chicken, and then they go right into the filler, not the fillers, but the, um, the, the potatoes or whatever else is in there. No. First ingredient is deboned chicken, uh, turkey. Second ingredient is the chicken meal. So you know that there is a huge amount of this food is digestible, good protein. They put, this, they put steel cut oatmeal, uh, raisins, brown sugar, honey, no, kidding, steel cut oatmeal, which is a great, right, oats are, oats are great. Then there's uh, green peas and lentils, sweet potatoes, morning, and then all the vitamins and minerals. But if you look at all the vitamins and minerals, there's all kinds of strains of probiotics. I can't even pronounce all these things. The lactobacillus, I mean, just the list goes on and on and on of all the different uh, probiotics. So I'm thinking that if your dog has, you know, uh, stomach problems or has any kind of immune issue, this is probably a great food. Again, it's called By Nature, and it's the active defense food. So that's the first really cool, yes, in this cat food, by the way. That's the first cool food that we got in. The next one is a company called, there's a company called Going Now. They're out of Canada. They're fabulous people. And they have a food, it's called Now. Kind of a goofy title. It's a cool, cool bag. So here's where this food fits in. People come in and they want to feed the Acana or the Origin, and they look to see how much it is. It's, exp it's very expensive food, right? It's one of our biggest sellers in the stores, but it's expensive food. So they say, do you have anything that has the same type of formula that's not as expensive? Bingo. It's, it's um, I'll read you the ingredients of this food. Uh, hang on, on the back. You ready? Deboned turkey and whole dried egg. Here's why I like this food. And this, this is actually going to be a problem, I was told. Um, egg is the perfect protein. Almost nobody, dogs, cats, nobody's allergic to egg. 
but it's the perfect protein. So you have, you have this deboned turkey, which is a huge percentage of it. You open this bag up, it's gonna smell because there's turkey in it, but then you have all that dried egg. And let me tell you, we put egg in, our, in some of our formulas. You know about the swine flu that they're killing all the millions of chickens. So the price of eggs, there was actually an article in the uh, newspaper, in the Republican last week, the price of eggs has doubled or tripled or something in the last few weeks until they get this uh, fine swine flu under control. They're just killing, not herds, they're not herds of chickens. Are they flocks of chickens? Millions. Millions of chickens, right. So the price of eggs is uh, just absolutely skyrocketing. This is a fabulous, fabulous food, folks. And again, it's probably twenty or thirty dollars a bag less than for a big bag less than um, the uh, the Origin or the Acana. It's probably the closest thing I have to those brands that are not just for me in the stratosphere of uh, cost-wise. So here's the other reason that I like these guys. It's a family-run company. When I said, I'll bring this stuff in, but it's expensive for my market, they said, bring, bring it in. You know, you buy, buy stack outs and we'll, and we'll always have a deal for you so that you can keep it at a, uh, at a reasonable price. So when, when anyone ever says that to me that, you know, here we want to get consumers on it, it's not about making the last buck. I, I just, um, I love them. And they're just very, very, very nice people. So that's the now. They also make, Another food called Go, which is a really, really cool bag. So it's a little bit not as uh, high end as the Go. The ingredients, I'll read you the ingredients. Turkey meal, debone, debone, let's see, turkey meal, debone turkey, peas, tapioca, canola oil, again, whole dried egg but the whole dried egg is now fourth or fifth. It's not, it's not second. So that's why, what makes the food not as expensive because I'm telling you the, the eggs are expensive. So this is another, another one. This is our Sensitivity Shine. Uh, great for all dogs. Here's the important part. These were formulated especially for those with specific dietary needs and food sensitivities. Carefully prepared with select premium quality protein, Amiga oils, and fruits and veggies. So here is another, another one out of Canada, more reasonably priced, great for your dogs, you know. So you got really three new foods for us that if you're, you know, any kind of um, immune system problems, dietary problems, I love them. And so here's the other cool thing about these. After 40 years of doing this, there are cult foods. So the first cult food back in the early 80s was Yukonuba. And there was no internet, folks. But I don't, if you were a top class breeder, you used Yukonuba. Period, end of story. It was a cult food. And as, and as things progressed, it went from Yukonuba, then it went to Ino, uh, Inova, and wellness was a cult food. Today, it's, cult foods are more interesting because you've got the internet and you can do internet buzz. But these brands, the Go, the Now, um, the By Nature, the Origin, they are the cult foods. So if you're, if you're sitting and saying, well, you know, where does Blue Buffalo or all these other big companies that say they're the best, they're great foods, they're not at this level. So anyway, are we, uh, how are we for time, Joe? We good? We're good? All right, don't go away, folks. Matt is here chopping at the bit to show us some stuff. Cylinders. cylinders. A few cylinders. So Matt's not really running on all cylinders. No, I don't, no, I don't I'm not. Uh, since syllables, the industrial accident, you're uh, kind of you, poked some When do you get to take those off? Uh, in the next week. Oh? In the next week, and then I'll be wearing just glass uh, glass frames for the most part, just for keep stuff out in the next oh, yeah, few yeah, weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But going along. Going so along. anyway, you're wondering what's wrong with Matt. He has crabs. Mm -hmm. And uh, what? Lots of them. 
Lots of them, yes. We're gonna bring in the Vetresen ointment, but I've got yes. enough going on there. But yes, anyway, so these are my favorites. These are cool. These are always fun. Since we're going into summer, it's 90 degrees out today, and people yep. are going to the beach. This gets you And the, the Red beach. Sox to watch their stellar Their stellar performance, performance this year. They're just stellar at-bats. That's Yeah, they're just blowing everyone away. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we have our big selection of really you gotta cool hold it, hold it down. Crabs. Yep. Put them down and I'll hold, I'm afraid to hold them. There you go, just hold them by the helmet there. Well, I can't, because can your fingers are. Well, here, grab mm -hmm. that one. There you go. I won't get you. There you go. So we got. You gave me a Yankee one. That's a Mets one. This is the Red Sox. I don't. Well, do we have a Yankee one? I don't get the Orioles, but anyways, Red Sox are horrible and the Mets aren't doing better, so we'll just play along with that. Ah! You got me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Folks, is there anybody you don't like? Yes, there you go. <laughs> this and is they the have way a birthday to do it. coming up. This is the way to do it. Um, but anyway, this is our hermit crab display, and these are fun, great classroom pets, great, quiet, not yeah, making a noise Yeah, this is true, pet. quiet. Quiet, right. they're very quiet. Yeah. Um, but actually, they're interesting to watch. And a little tidbit, a lot of people know or may not know, as they get bigger, they actually will move out of their smaller shell and move into a bigger shell. Um, is that why they're called? Hermit, hermit crabs. crabs, they move from place to base. They could be called a nomad crab, but hermit crab sounds better. Yes. But um, the shell is actually just glued on. They don't care if it's on there or not. Um, as they get bigger, you put bigger shells in. Actually, you can they get, what, about 20 pounds? Um, they can get quite big. They can get, actually, the largest one is actually about the size of a really? fist. Really? Yep, we've actually had a few of them come through big like that. Occasionally, you'll see a big one. And the world record lifespan Yes. 34 years. Get out! Okay, so they are, most of them averages about seven or eight years. Uh, so they are long live. They actually. I do like the little Patriots yep, sign. You can't, Patriots. I'll, I'll have to, can I turn it? Yep, we got a. Yep, can you see that, the Joe? Decor there. Yeah. Off season stuff. But we got a little mix of crabs for everyone here. Everyone has crabs for everyone. Yep. Uh, we've got football players, baseball players. We've so got can I ask you a stupid question? Sure. I'll give you a stupid answer. How's that? Uh, how, do they, how do we, someone hand paints these? Someone actually hand, hand paints, paints these. these things somewhere. I don't know where, but somebody does. Show, yeah, point it so you they can. You can see this one. They hand painted a shell. Doesn't hurt them because, like I said, they move from shell to right. shell. So they don't eat any. They don't. They don't care what's on there. So what um, does a hermit crab eat? What does a hermit crab eat? Well, it's a mixture of algae, uh, vegetation, um, fruit mix, a uh, little bit of sea life in there, shrimp. Just a whole medley mixture. They're pretty much a scavenger. Um, some people feed them little bits of fruit here and there, won't hurt. Really? Yep. They do like space and they like to live yep. communally. So a group yep. of them together yep. is always happy. And they like to have some sort of a substrate or sand we put to burrow in. What is this green stuff? That is their substrate. It's sand. They, when they mold, Why is it green? Why is it green? Because it's old? It's, no, it's just the color. Moldy? Of moldy green mold sand. Oh. But yeah, they don't mind that as long as it's clean sand. Again, they're not picky, but they like, they need sand to burrow in. Because as they molt, as they get bigger, they actually molt shed their... Shed like a snake. Right, they shed like a snake. And that's when they're most vulnerable to They're pretty predation. active now. So they're active, yep. Um, they like to stay humid. They like to stay a little bit damp. Yep. Um, the one mistake people make with these is they put them in a small cage with sand and they forget about them. They need humidity. So you want to mist and spray them, just a spray bottle every day. They also need a fresh water. If you're gone for a couple weeks, you, you miss them. You missed them, yeah, and they'll miss you because they won't be right. there when they go back. Um, they need a dish of uh, fresh water yep. with the sponge. They don't drink that's, like that's a, this. just like that. They drink off that. They actually lick off of that. And then an area, a little dish of salt water for them to splash around in as so well, So this is too. fresh water? Fresh water. And, and that's salt water because they're salt water. Right. Uh, they live around in, like along the marshy area. Um, of course, you have a dish of food. Yeah, um, mixed in with the sand, by the way. Well, yeah, they crawl in and out of there. Right, they, they live they, on the beaches, right? They live right? on a beach. They're just going to be pecking up what they want. So it's just neater looking in the cage. Yeah. But really, I mean, and it's neater for keeping it fed, knowing yep. how much food is in there. But yeah, they're going to pick up so when, when stuff around. So when, if, if uh, you buy these, mm -hmm. how many should you buy at a time? Two or three? Usually, you could at least do two to three of them. Um, singles will live, but they are happier in a group. Yeah. And like I said, and somewhat match them in size as well. If you have a real big one, he may actually try and steal the shell off the smaller one and vice versa. So keep them somewhat matched in size and always keep extra shells in the cage with them. Always keep extra shells. So they can go from... Right, right. right. So they can go from shell to shell. 
Okay. Okay. Now, I also, notice you have, what kind of light do you have on this? This is just a nighttime heat lamp. Yeah. As long as they're above 72 degrees, yep. they're going to be happy. Yeah. So if your house is cooler, recommend a, um, a, heat lamp. a heat lamp just to keep them warm. Um, you, don't need a, you don't need a heat. You don't need under, under heat. Like I said, you can. Some people do put under yeah. heat, but a heat lamp usually just, just they can bask a little bit better with it. Okay. A little bit easier to keep clean and maintain. You need a tree well in too. here so they can climb? They do like to climb. Um, we do have some stuff that they, they climb. One-armed. They climb one-handed. Yep. yep. So stuff that they can climb in, stuff that yep. they can hide under, especially they like to hide under things. Yep. So have some sort of a ramp to go under them, yep. underneath. Yep. Um, but like I said, most importantly, really just spray and mist them. Keep them, keep them moist. Yep. And keep them moist. That's most remember they do. And a little interesting fact, and this is the gross fact of the day, they actually go to the bathroom through their antennas. Just thought I'd throw that in there. That's what they do. <laughs> that's how they. That's how they go to the bathroom. You left them speak. I left him speechless. I, yeah, I can't I even. I yeah. can't even. I, can't like even you, come back you, on that one. So you can see them coming and going and, and going. And right, you got right, it. right. I, I don't even. No, I did it. But um, I think that's the first time in 20 years I don't even have a. Doesn't have a good comeback. I don't for even that. have a comeback for that. We have over here. This yeah. is an all-inclusive kit that has everything you need. Yep. You have your substrate to keep a little um, sand and soil. So the soil actually helps keep the humidity in. Um, you have your multiple dishes. You've got your salt water conditioner, um, and it's oh, nice. Oh, yep. and a little porta Johnny. And a little Johnny there. There you go. Right. <laughs> a little porta. Yep. In case you're, so case you you're on the beach, there's nowhere to go. You can just stick your, your head antennas in the sand. are blocked. That's it. You need yeah. a porta Johnny. Right. Exactly. You're shy. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is screen top. Nice glass construction. That's a perfect. And you need a screen top. Well, it's to keep them in and also keep. They don't, because they're not going to, they can't climb up. They it's really not can't like go up the glass. But at the same time, like I said, somewhere. And you could put a heat lamp on there. Put a heat lamp on top of that. And yep. then so if you have little kids, they don't stick their fingers in yep. and get pinched. So every day, you need to change the water. You need to change the water daily. And you, and need, you need to, to mist, mist them. them. If they dry out, that's where people make the mistakes. They actually, that's yeah. where you lose them. They dehydrate and they die. Right. Um, so Can as they have babies? Um, of course. Of course. I, mean, I, I know they have babies. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah, I've not ever seen really, you don't really much breed these for ca in captivity. Um, it's a little bit more of a process. I'm not quite sure. I think it's just a lot of space and they're doing a lot so of So when we buy, we buy them from huge farms. We buy them from farms, exactly, down in Florida. These yeah. are actually all raised in farms. Yep. Um, and like I said, they, as long as they have different size shells um, yep. and as they're long good. as the shells are clean, um, you can recycle, reuse, move different shells in there. Um, and like I said, they're fun to and watch. the shelves last forever. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they go forever. Um, and how, Matt, I, again, how long do these guys live? Average is about seven to eight years, but the world record is there was one that went for 34 years. So like I said, this isn't a pet that's gonna be in and out in three months. So if you take care of them. And, and here's, the, here's the all kidding aside part, when they pinch you, they, it hurts. Yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. We had actually an employee, one funny story, <laughs> that he was a trooper. He was a true trooper. He was showing one to a customer and it latched onto the fat part of his hand. And he went on with the sale when he was explaining it and asking Screaming. it. Screaming. He, but he had tears running down his eyes <laughs> and we timed him. He went three minutes and 20 seconds. How'd you get it off? Huh? How he got off, he ran into the back screaming his head off, but just a little bit of warm water. Oh. If you ever get clamped on, put some warm water on it and they'll release they'll release and then get yourself some first aid after that because they can get you pretty yeah, good. Yeah, they cut the, I mean. Yeah, they, yeah, they got, they got oh. power. So just that's one thing you have to be careful. So kids supervision, um, like I said, mostly when you pick them up, pick them up like that. Um, and then when you hold them, you have to hold them flat, keep your, your skin as flat as possible. Yes. But like I said, but I give him credit. He held on, still has the record for the longest hold that of was, a crab. That was a few years ago. A few years ago, yes. He's yes. recovering nicely. He'll be, he'll, he'll he be should be home in, in a couple months. I yes, think. yes. And yeah, like I said. <laughs> yeah, after therapy, therapy. Therapy yeah. and his fear of crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Anything like that. But um, interesting, fun, this time of year, you will um, see. These are all from Florida. These are all raised in Florida. These are actually all raised and bred down in Florida. Um, they don't go pluck these off the beach. These are all actually bred in a yep. crab breeding crab, facility. Crab bre right. Um, and like I said, and the, like I said, the shells are actually painted beforehand. They don't paint them with the crab in it. They're painted beforehand, and then as they they lay them out as the crabs. We get have a bigger, Superman one. In. Yep, there's a Superman. He's the crab of steel. We have flags. We got Red Sox. Red Sox. There's cartoon. And there's also natural, just Patriots. plain, plain, ordinary, traditional yep. ones as well. Yep. Uh, but there's pretty much every Green Bay. Yeah. Look at that. You got the Packers. Yep. 
Um, Patriots. Got the, yeah, got the Giants here. Yep. Uh, we got some college teams in there too. Time. What, Yick? Oh. I picked up a Giants. Oh, yeah, Giants. he's not a Giants oh, fan, is he? Right. How often do you feed him? You keep the food dish. How often are they fed? Keep the food dish filled regularly. Um, one, it's make sure the food is still fresh. You don't want it sitting there piled up where it's getting rotten. But at the same time, you don't want it going going, going empty on you. So just make sure right. you have fresh food. Check on it. Make sure there's at least some fresh food in there pretty much daily. Because if they don't get enough to eat, they get really crabby. They get crabby. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry. And, and what, is, what is this? Substrate. Okay, that was a good question. How often do we clean this? Um, spot clean it with a scoop. With a... Uh, Scoop every day, just take it through pan for gold, toss the droppings, and then change the bedding like every two to three weeks. On don't tell basis. him that was a good question. You'll, I'll give him don't a Don't encourage him. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. God, yeah. He's giving the thumbs up and everything like that. Yes, he does a wonderful job. And what are these job. little blocks of soil this for? This is your hermit crab soil. That's part of your substrate you mix with the sand. You take this little puck, put it in a bucket of water, let it sit for 30 minutes. He is Can you hear that? Bath. Yep. Someone's not happy Someone's, getting a bath. He's getting a bath. Yeah. That will actually. And that was the owner. Mm. Dog just pushed him in. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big dog. But anyway, that will expand out into almost like a um, sponge. Oh, so this is sponge. Yeah, it's like sponge. It's like an eco, like a uh, mud bedding. Mix that yep. with the sand. Yep. Helps keep the humidity in. So change it. Like I said, go at least every couple of weeks with a full change. Oh, that so these aren't really that high maintenance. No, they're not high maintenance, but daily go through and spot clean any like soiled areas. Just go through and yep. pick up. But yep. but like I said, it's a fun fun little pet. Interesting okay. little critter, easy to keep. So uh, don't go away. That's it. But the show's over. Oh. Holy smokes! We had fun with crabs, huh? Because of, because of Joe's good questions. Here, hold these. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for joining Dave's interactive show, mm -hmm. boys and girls. We we'll will see you. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll see you next week. Have a sparkling week. <laughs>